We're here in the DM lab doing some competitive evaluation and wanted to film this to show you guys the real differences in quality and what makes Crestron NVX better than the competition. We've been talking about that for a while, but now we're actually going to get to show you. So we're going to zoom in on each of these displays. We're going to show you the exact video quality problems, and they're not subtle. Just to describe the setup here, we've got a PC as a source that's driving a DA that's splitting the signal and sending it through each of the competitive codecs. On the left, we've got Just Add Power, then AMX's N2400 series, their flagship encoders and decoders. Then we've got the SDVOE solutions. We happen to be running ZV Live right now, but sitting right next to it there is the Aurora SDVOE product as well. They behave identically in our testing. And last but not least, we've got Crestron NVX. First up is Just Add Power. It's a cheap solution, and we're going to show you why. Before we even get into the video quality problems, let me start out by saying no security at all. On top of that, it doesn't even use standard networks for switching. You need to use specific switches defined by them, and they don't use network protocols to switch. They send special telnet commands to the switch, which is just not how they're designed to work. But to the video quality. You can see here, in these, on the close-ups, these vertical lines here are getting duplicated. There's supposed to be one solid line. You'll see that when we look at the Crestron solution. The text everywhere looks bad. Not only in the console that we have here, the text on there is very blurry. It's borderline unreadable. In the Excel spreadsheet here, the text in the menu, the text in the headers of the actual file itself, the text in the document, all of it bleeding into each other, a little soft, difficult to read. The blacks are all washed out on this clock that we've got running down here. The Counter-Strike text at the top of this is very difficult to see, as is the high precision render, et cetera. All that is difficult to read. Um, and then we've got more examples of bad text in the uh, Windows Explorer window. You can see here that text is also very difficult to read, a lot of ghosting. Next up is the AMX SVSI N2400 series product. This is their 4K60 444 flagship product, so you would expect it to be amazing quality. It's more expensive than NVX, so it's got to be great, right? Well, in addition to having a noisy fan, it's also got a lot of the same video quality problems of the cheap Just Add Power stuff. Again, the lines in this test pattern are duplicated. In the Excel spreadsheet, I've got the same problems with the video text bleeding into each other, not only in the menu, but also in the headings in the file and then on the text within the file itself. The console text there is still very difficult to read. The blacks are still washed out in the clock and then more bad text down here in the uh, folder. And we just saw a flicker there during filming. We don't know what that was, but another example of the stability problems we've been seeing. All right, next up is SDVOE. Same deal, lack of security. Anybody can get in control of these devices. Now, the important thing with SDVOE is it uses a 10 gig network infrastructure. That's far more expensive. IT departments don't want to do it. Nobody wants to use 10 gig. You might as well stick with HD base T if you're going to do that. Now, I'll be honest, the picture quality is pretty good. Here you can see that this is what this pattern is supposed to look like. We've got the straight lines there that are not being duplicated. The text is legible. They were able to get great picture quality, but it took them 10 gigs to do it, whereas we got it down in one. They'll talk about how great their latency is, and we'll see in a second how when the scalers are enabled, which is how you're actually going to use these products, we're actually dead on with them. And now we've got Crestron NVX. It stands up strong where every other product falls flat. We've got perfect image quality. We're on a one gigabit network, which is what IT departments actually want to use. And we've got all the network security features that IT departments require, including 802.1x for network access control, active directory integration for administrative password management, as well as every interface into the box being authenticated and encrypted. And then let's get to the video quality. The pattern looks like the video pattern should. We've got nice, crisp, straight lines there, not being duplicated. All the text is legible on the command prompt, on the Excel spreadsheet. The blacks are deep the way they should be. And the text in the uh, menu is, is nice as well. Now that we've talked about video quality, let's talk about video latency. We've maximized that clock. So the same signal still is being sent to all of these devices. With these stills, you can see the difference in latency between the different devices. Higher numbers are better. So you can see that Crestron NVX and SDVOE are both dead on with the lowest latency. SPSI just add power significantly higher. And so yes, SDVOE does have really good latency. However, it's not better than Crestron NVX, and it takes them 10 gigs to do it, which really makes it untenable for most installations. So here's another example of the kind of stability problems that we've been facing. We were just switching video back and forth, and now the AMX is in a locked up state where it thinks it doesn't support this video resolution. To be clear, it does support this video resolution. It was working two minutes ago, but we've been constantly tripping across these sorts of issues. 
And so there you have it. We've been talking about it for a while, but now we've shown you Crestron NVX really is better. Just add power, doesn't use standard networks, and the video quality is bad. SVSI, it's more expensive, their flagship product, video quality is still bad, and their latency is high. SDVOE, they've got good video quality, they've got good latency, but it takes them 10 gigs, which makes it a non-starter on most networks. And the grand prize for video stability issues goes to the Aurora VLX product. This is their one gig product, separate from their SDVOE product. What, Aurora VLX? We haven't been talking about that throughout this entire demo. That's because we spent hours trying to get it working, and actually did, and then it broke again, and we couldn't get it working again. So we couldn't even include it in the demo. Crestron NVX, excellent video quality, no latency, a one gigabit network, and all the security features you need.